Hi, my name is Siggy Bueller. I'm a wood carver and I'm the fellow who is doing the snow sculpture in Barrie for the Winterfest each year. Uh, this year, for this year, for obvious reasons, we can't do it. Uh, instead of um, prepared a block for you, a little snow block, and we uh, carve a little face. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I've been doing this snow carving for 20 years now. I feel very honored to be invited every year. I hope you enjoy that little video. Thank you. Yeah, this year, this year nothing is happening and I hope you all stay yourselves at home and do your own thing in the backyard because we want to do this again next year hopefully and have all the whole pandemic thing do the night thing. So I don't usually do, I'm a wood carver, I do commission work. I do ornamentation, which is fireplaces, that kind of thing. Uh, you can see uh, my current work at Instagram, Siggy Bueller. I don't do faces usually, but let's see what we can do here. So, nose, lower half of the head. Here, this this thing I just made out of a, a, a you know pallet, that that metal, just wrapped it into a hoop tied together. This is a regular kind of scraper from the hardware store. Nose, eyes here. We're gonna remove some stuff to bring the nose out. Probably we're gonna give it some nice cheek, like a little jolly man or something. We'll see what happens. So just work in, work in uh, gradually. If you want to build it up, that's usually something we do in, uh, which I learned, which would be with, um, probably not the ideal snow for that. But in carving school many, many years ago, we also worked the reverse way. This is sort of the, what carvers do. They carve off, right? So we got the nostrils here, thin the nose a little. Go more back into the eyes, give them a little frown. Here, that area of the thing. Do I have enough room for the mouth? Well, we'll see. Just do anything, just play around, be brave. There's no failing in this. And you might have heard failing. Many people failed many times. I wouldn't call it failing. It's just how would you know to do something unless you try? Unless you give yourself that time to explore and just go forth and yes, it does take courage because we're always told we have to succeed, we have to succeed. But what people are not telling you who are succeeding is how many times they had to try and how much they had to be sticking with it. Stick with it. Do it. Turned into an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> ogre lips. Anyway, the point is have fun. Play. It's a plasticine or, or, or clay tool uh, scraper, and, and so is this. Uh, this I adapted from a, 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 a pastry, I think. Pastry kind of, you know, when they smear the thing. And as I said, this one I made out of um, a pallet spring. And this one is just a regular paint scraper or whatever.
just give it a little, you know, the ears. Just have a look at your ears. You probably live with somebody. If you do, just look at your ears. Say, hold still. Take a look at your ears. Snow, because it's white. If you want to see it from a distance, you got to give, make deep lines. I think we'll leave it at that. How about it? Very small forehead. It's all cheeks and nose and lips and eyes. <laughs> <laughs>